So it's been three weeks, a little over three weeks since I competed and a common thing I hear a lot of other competitors talk about is how much weight people gain after a competition. Um, so I thought I'd spend a little time just talking about my experience with it, what I know, um, because I know a lot of competitors, especially in bikini, maybe more so with females, I'm not sure about uh, males, uh, do have problems with binging post-competition and can gain 10, 20 pounds. Um, I'm sure it happens with guys as well, but so my experience with it, um, I've never had any crazy large weight gain after any of my competitions, but I know it is hard once you go from being so strict and regimented and really cutting so much out of your diet that once that shows over, you do kind of, you know, you want to treat yourself. It's hard to not, you know, want to treat yourself every day and continue that cycle, which is what really leads to weight gain. Um, this past competition for Buffalo, I booked a photo shoot the next day, so I think that's a good idea. If you guys train or do a competition, maybe book yourself a photo shoot. It's the first time I've done it, but you know, you're in the best shape of your life. Why not spend the money? You've already spent that much money to be going, you know, book yourself a photo shoot and that will kind of keep you going and keep you focused on um, you know, keeping on track with your diet, your workouts, and all that stuff. Um, I did book mine just the day after because of location. Um, so that night after my competition, I didn't do anything crazy, but I did have like a good salad with, um, you know, chicken and nuts and cheese and some of that stuff, and it was some sweet potato fries. So that was kind of like my, my treat that night before going into the photo shoot without doing anything crazy. Um, and then the following day, I think we were driving home, got like some trail mix and just kind of some snacky stuff, nothing too crazy. Um, we went out and got sushi and had a sushi meal. So, um, you know, it was nice to not like watch portion size too much or not be so careful about getting your meals in. I don't think I ate that much protein that day driving home, but um, it's nice, I think, to give yourself a couple meals to reward yourself that, you know, you've been craving, you've been wanting. Um, without just without going overboard um, I think the biggest key for me and maybe for other people is when you have a meal like that to not let it kind of dictate the rest of your day so if you start your day and you have like a cheat or a treat whatever you call it you know that doesn't have to dictate the rest of your day I am guilty of doing this several times if I F up my diet first thing in the morning I'm like screw it bring on the cookies you know and I want to just eat whatever the rest of the day and kind of, you know, uh, you know, it's like I do it to myself and I'm like, well, I might as well just eat like crap the rest of the day and maybe I just won't go to the gym and it just gets you on this vicious cycle and then you feel bad about yourself and then you gain weight and it's, it's an evil cycle. So I guess the best advice I can give, which is what I did after this competition, because I'm a dietitian, I love all kinds of food. So the dieting sometimes is hard for me to eliminate all that stuff. And I like my share of junk food as well. I mean, as much as I like healthy food, I like junk food too. So what I tried to do was, you know, that first week after my competition, I just, I wasn't as hard on myself. Um, I tried to be consistent still with at least making sure I was getting in my protein as much as I needed to, drinking the water I needed to. But, you know, I allowed myself to have dessert, <clears throat> but I tried to keep it reasonable. You know, I added in fruit, I added in peanut butter, um, had like nuts and things like that that I normally wasn't having right before the competition. So I try to go on the healthier side with that stuff. Um, if you don't choose healthy stuff though and you just want to go to McDonald's, just keep track of the calories, I guess I would say. You know, take a look at your macros if you know what they are for the day and try to just keep that in check, you know. <clears throat> Maybe not have an all out binge fest all day long, which I think is is typically the cycle people get themselves in. So um, just be mindful of that for those that, that do compete when you're coming off a competition, um, especially when you have nothing else planned coming up, that's when I tend to like fall off track. You know, if I don't have that set goal, it can be tough for me to really stay so consistent and disciplined with my eating. Um, you know, I work, I work for nutrition. Like there's food around every day. It's my job. That's what I think about, talk about, and do. I live it, eat it, and breathe it. So it's hard to be so disciplined without my purpose there. Um, so I guess 
for me, you know, for me it might, or anyone else, it might be helpful to have some type of goal set up for after your competition. You know, whether it be a photo shoot, whether you have another competition coming up, um, whatever it, it may be that will kind of help keep you, you know, in line with what you need to do so you don't get all, all over the place with your diet. Um, some people compete one competition right after another, so it might not be a bad idea to give yourself one good sheet meal and then just get right back on track, you know, with your diet. The other thing I'll just say too real quick is some people do give themselves time off from the gym. I guess it depends, you know, where you're at and what your goals are. For myself, I find if I'm not working out, I actually tend not to eat as well. So starting my day, going to the gym, working out makes it easier for me to eat healthy the rest of the day. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not, but for me it's always gone hand in hand. So if I'm working out, I tend to eat better and just want to eat better. If I'm not working out, I use it as an excuse to eat like crap. As weird as that sounds. So I would say too, if you're not really sure how to stay on track after your competition, um, just make sure you're at least getting in the gym. You know, I think just being in that environment of other people doing healthy things can keep you focused, keep you motivated, and hold you accountable, you know? Um, it's tough, uh, you know, so I'd like to hear what your experiences are. For any of you guys that do compete, put a comment below, let me know um, what your experience has been with it. And just to give you um, a little insight, I competed probably on stage at 103 pounds, I think I was. I water depleted differently for this competition. I water depleted about 10 days out. Um, so it was a 10 day cycle of water depletion. And the weight that I am now is basically the weight I was um, prior to water depleting. So that kind of gives you an idea. It is possible. Um, I've been, you know, I do like to eat like this all the time. So it's possible to just stay on track and not gain 20 pounds post competition. Am I as lean as I was, as you see in my photos or the videos? No, but no one is. I mean, most most people, there's a few people out there, but most people don't maintain how you look on stage. So you need to mentally know that going into the sport as well, or else that alone will drive you crazy. So you just gotta be realistic with it. I'm really happy with the fact that, you know, I'm now 110 pounds, which is my usual before water cutting. Um, and that's good with me. I'm at a point where I'm just trying to, you know, continue to make improvements. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Just wanted to ramble on a little bit about the post-competition diet because I know a lot of people are like, oh, oh, you're going to gain 20 pounds. And no, not everyone has to be like that. There's a way to kind of find your own balance. But, you know, it, it's a little different for everyone. So, hope you guys found this helpful. And let me know what you think and what your experiences are. We'll see you soon.